I figure for your specialty, let's give you a lesson on tight picking. <laughs> So the key is less equals more. Um, the less you have to move your wrist, the more attack you have. Uh, so in that <laughs> way, I do a lot of um, upstrokes every now and then. Uh, kind of similar to obviously your um, galloping. You know? So a lot of guys ask me, how do you do it? How can you get so fast and so good? And it's a lot of sitting there watching TV. You do your gallops. You know, you're sitting there just spacing. You don't need the other hand. You're just chugging on the low string. That's kind of partially part of it. So it's working on your right hand technique. Um, the other thing is, is, again, the key is, is less, less equals more. So I learned a lot of speed picking. You want to be able to stay tight within that region. And that's pretty much your key to playing anything and playing tight. Once you can get that, you know, obviously... speed picking down. Once you do that, you can obviously use your palm mute, you know, work off of things. So do weird timing. Now, what do you think Mashuga does? And so in that riff, we'll give you some clean. all about the attack. As far as notes wise, you don't really need to know it. I'm in drop B, so obviously I'm playing off of the C sharp. Tuning doesn't matter. Work on your right hand technique. That's all it is, and the tighter you can move your pick, the more attack you're going to have. That was something a friend told me a long time ago, and that is the best way to get at chugging, is just work on your right hand technique. You don't need to do much else, you know, uh, Toasted Abasi, I think, said, you know, obviously keep working on that right hand technique, he did that for thumping, he says, your left hand already knows where to go. Because obviously if you've been practicing your scales, you know it. So work on digging in. Get that motion tight. And if you need to do it to a metronome, by all means, and just get it slow. Mm -hmm.